welcome again. What you're gonna do is you're going to go to Excel here. And then when I come here and say, refresh all this data that is in my Google Sheet is gonna be transferred to my Excel. Come here, go to data, refresh all. And once I do that, you can see this data is pulled from the Google Sheet here and loaded into the Excel. And this can be synced so that when you refresh every after five minutes, that data will be updated. More and more data is added to the Google Sheet and you sync, do refresh all in your Excel, your Excel will be updated. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna take you step by step. So I have a new sheet here, which has my data. And to achieve this, I need to first publish my sheet. And to publish the sheet, I need to go to File, Share, Publish to Web. When you click there, it asks you what are you publishing. My sheet is called Sheet 1, is what I'm gonna publish. And as a web page, there are different options here, but I'm interested in a web page. Then of course there are more settings here. I'm interested in the sheet. Then lastly here we have automatically republish when changes are made. So when there are changes to this sheet, it will be republished. In other words, the new changes will also be published with the old changes to the web. When you do this, you're gonna say publish. Say so, okay. Now it brings, it gives you a link. So I control C. Now, if I go and open a new tab, this is a new tab. If I open a control V, my copied link, and I press enter, you can see my data gets published right here. Now, but what I want is to bring and pull that data into Excel. So I'm gonna go to an Excel sheet, which is empty. Then go to data from the web. I click there. So from the web URL, now the what I've pasted, I copied as my link is control V to paste it here and say, okay. So what happens? It runs and goes and picks my data from the Google sheet. And then it displays this dialog here. So I collect items, document, I want a table. And this, you can see this is my data being pulled from the Google. Now, the next thing I do, when you look at this data, it has added two extra columns, which I'm not interested in. And my header has added column three and four as the headers, which I'm also not interested in. So I need to make some adjustments before I import this into my Excel. Now, it, eventually this is a power query. So now when you look down here, uh, there's an option for load. I use this if I want to load it into Excel. Then if I want to do some transformations, like remove these unwanted columns, I need to go to transform data. When I open, when I click there, it opens the power query editor. And in here I can do the transformations that I want. When I click in the corner there, you can see use first row as headers. There you go. Now my headers are promoted. I'm not interested in these two columns. I highlight them, right click and remove columns. 
Now this is what I want, so I can load, load to, if you want to use, to load to an existing sheet, use close and load to. So I want to load it to a table. There are different options. You can even load to a chart and all a pivot table, but I want to load it to a table. I want to use an existing sheet and it should start on A1, the cell I highlighted there. And then I say, okay. So when I do that, it pulls my data from the Google Sheets into Excel. So that is wonderful. If at all I update my Google Sheet, what happens in Excel? And I add more products here. Product 14 and 15. I add this as 1,000, add this as 2,000. So I've updated my sheet. So now I need to wait for five minutes. Then I go into my Excel. Right now, if I go, to, so I'm gonna pause the video. I come back after five minutes and test whether my two additional columns rows are gonna be added here. Remember, I added product 14 and product 10 in the Google Sheets here. So you wait after five minutes. So the five minutes have ended. Come back to my Excel. Now I want to refresh all to see whether I get product 14 and 15. So you need to watch down here. So press all. There you go. You get your two products. This is how you can sync your Google Sheet to Excel. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Please subscribe if you have not and you like my videos. Like, share, give me your comments. If you have a challenge, please share with me and I'll be glad to look at it. Otherwise, thank you for watching and have a great day.